Yes. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, I'll give you a call back tomorrow. Thanks. Just kidding, guys. This is actually a prop. I'm here at a phone booth in Bangkok, Thailand. There's Thai script here. It's really just something to get your attention so that I can speak a couple moments on something that we hear all the time and maybe doesn't always resonate, doesn't always make sense. Everybody's always saying, read the Bible every day, read the Bible every day, read the Bible every day. Why do they say that? It's really not, not just ritual. There's a reason behind it. Romans chapter 12 says there's a renewing of the mind that we get, we believe, from the reading of the Word. The Bible says when we come to know Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we repent, put our faith and trust in Him. The Holy Spirit comes to live inside of us. The Holy Spirit empowers us to understand the Word of God. The Bible says the Word that became flesh and dwelt among us is Jesus Christ. So the more we abide in Him, we abide in His Word, the more fruit we will bear, the Bible says in John chapter 15. Apart from Him, we can do nothing. Apart from Him, we are nothing. The Bible says it will be like branches that wither away and are eventually thrown into the fire. The Bible calls Jesus the bread of life, it says, He who comes to me will never hunger, he who believes in me will never thirst. The Bible calls him the light of the world, it says that he who follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. And that to me is a big guarantee that if I wake up in the morning and I read the Bible and I pray, I'm talking to Jesus, hearing back from him, and then I begin to walk in the Spirit of God, the Bible says that I will not satisfy the desires of the flesh if I walk in the Spirit. And that to me is a big, big promise and something that we can lean on. So it really boils down to, we follow Him daily, trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways acknowledge Him and He will direct your paths. And then He performs the miracle. Kind of like almost while we're not looking. We're over here doing, doing what He's called us to do, following Him daily, reading the Bible, praying, staying in community and fellowship, going to church regularly, and He's performing miracles. He's bringing conviction, bringing change, changing us from one degree of glory to another as we continue to follow Jesus to be a little bit more and a little bit more like Him daily. It's a war, guys. Stay in the fight. There will be temptation. It will be difficult. The war's not over. But we have Jesus on our side, and we have victory over sin and death through the power of Jesus Christ, through the finished work at Calvary. Praise God.